This is Andy McKenzie with Samson Technologies. Today I'd like to show you how to use your Samson Conspiracy Editor. The editor allows you to freely assign every knob, fader, button, and pad as quickly and easily as possible. Now always remember to update your conspiracy to the latest firmware before using. Your current firmware version will be displayed in the LCD when the unit is first connected. Now make sure to connect your unit before opening the editor. And unless on Windows 10, you cannot have the editor and your audio software open at the same time. This is not an issue on the Mac version that we're showing here. Now when you first connect your conspiracy and open the editor, the editor should display the same preset name as on the unit. If not, just click the upload button as you'll see over here to the right. And we see our Samson conspiracy is our preset name here. When you change presets, on the conspiracy unit itself, you'll want to click upload to reestablish communication between the editor and your conspiracy. The conspiracy and the editor will now be showing the same name as the preset and their displays. So I'll go ahead and choose a preset from the unit itself, change it, and then press upload. Now I've made the connection. You can see up here in the top using my editors the new preset name from the one that I changed on the conspiracy itself. Now down here you have your settings, select single, select multi, save settings, load settings, download, upload, and then update for making updates to the, uh, the unit's firmware itself. Now if you select single, it's going to allow you to select an individual controller for assignment. Grab it, and you can select on any controller you want, and over here on the right, you'll see you have the assignments from the note type, uh, the actual note itself, just click the drop down menu there and you can see what note you want to assign it to. The mode, which is momentary or toggle. Remember, momentary is kind of like a sustain pedal, so it's a quick on and off. Toggle makes it on until you click the controller again and then it turns it off. Your channels, your MIDI channels, between 1 through 16. And then, of course, three different colors. If you're on uh, the buttons here, you'll see just two different colors, but the pads themselves allow three different colors. There you go. Your red, green, and blue you can choose from right there. Now if you're on a select multi, then all you have to do is click and drag. And then over on the right it shows you exactly what you can do when you have multiple assigned. This is kind of nice for if you want to just quickly assign everything to be on one MIDI channel or one note number or something like that, or I just want them all to be momentary. It makes it quick for you to do that. You can just do a whole all the pads at one time if you'd like, which makes it nice. Now, save settings is basically saving your preset. You can save that to your, you know, your hard drive, whatever location, your desktop you like. If you load the load settings button, that's going to load the preset into your computer, into the editor, and then you just press download to get it into your conspiracy or upload to bring the preset from the conspiracy into the editor itself. Now, when you select upload and download from the conspiracy, the LCD light should light up. If you're not seeing the LCD light up and it appears that you're not seeing any changes, like if you click a, you know, one of the controllers like this, you don't see any of these things changing the way you thought they would be, then basically just disconnect and reconnect your conspiracy and close and reopen the editor. That should fix any communication issues. I hope this has been helpful. Now, two last important tips that I want you to remember. If you make any changes on the conspiracy itself, make sure you press the upload button to upload those into the editor. And additionally, if your unit sits for about 5 to 10 minutes, you'll see the colors start to change on the conspiracy. This is what's called Vegas mode. Vegas mode just basically freezes the connection between the editor and the conspiracy. To get it back to normal operation mode, just press either the play, stop, or record button and you'll be ready to go. For any additional tips or information, please check us out at samsontechnologies.com.